Let me tell you a story of how I didn't pick a full frame over my crop. Over my crop. Roll the intro. How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and this is my Nikon D3300. I've had it for over three years now and I've done a lot of professional photo work. From basic events for companies, organizations, clubs, venues, concerts, etc. to landscapes, portraits, interiors, architecture, food, sports, product and of course weddings. But even more importantly it produces amazing professional quality video that I've used for all the events that I just listed above. But don't get me wrong, not every entry level DSLR can take the place of my D3300. This camera at the time that I bought it had an amazing sensor that surpassed all the other entry-level DSLRs as well as some older, higher-level DSLRs like the D7-1000 or the D300. While photos were about the same, maybe slightly higher resolution, the videos were much much better. And that's not mentioned 60 frames per second. The semi-slow-mo on it are a huge part of making my videos look more professional and now it's a huge part of my style and portfolio, so I really couldn't do without a 60 frames per second option. So when I was offered to switch to a D600, which is an entry-level full-frame camera, let's call it that, which has a much better sensor, dynamic range, ISO, low noise, etc, 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 it didn't actually suit my purposes because it didn't have the vastness of the things that my D3300 could do. Not to mention that I already have lenses for this camera and that full frame lenses are freaking expensive. By the way, if you don't know the difference between a full frame sensor and a crop sensor, stick around and I'll make a video about that soon. The moral of the story, with the relatively cheap cameras that are available nowadays, you can produce amazing professional quality work and make photography or videography your career, your full time job. Also the price or the market value or what's generally considered a better camera doesn't mean it's better suited to your needs. Needs. So make sure you choose wisely and most importantly just go out and shoot. Thanks so much for watching, tell me what you want to see a video about, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you around next week. I keep forgetting I have to add something cool in the end. Let me tell you a story of how I didn't pick a full frame over my crop. Oh, no. <laughs> Roll the intro. Roll the intro? Roll the intro? Roll the intro? Okay.